uh, for me honestly uh, uh, Asha sometimes people ask me do you think that people who I mean Indonesian people who studied abroad they should come back for Indonesia to Indonesia to show how they are a, a nationalist my answer is always uh, no it's, it's always been no meaning that well if you decide to come back to Indonesia it's good it's always good but then if if with your willingness you stay there because you are given opportunity for me take it mm-hmm. because if you if you still talk even though sometimes we don't really talk that much about nationalism in a narrow mm-hmm. kind of perspective but now it is a lot broader than that you know yeah. uh, nationalism is 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 way beyond borders way beyond yeah. national borders oh. for me even though if you still call yourself if you want to call yourself a nationalist it doesn't really mean that you stay in indonesia because your contribution can come i mean can can come from out anywhere. from you from wherever you, uh, you you know you do it yeah. right so so yeah uh do you have any plan in the future like uh, you, you you work or you probably want to go to campus again for your phd and then have you had anything <laughs> about that <laughs> uh i actually was uh, have an idea to take phd after i finish my master Um mm. but it's still hard for me to build the commitment with a four years full of research. Uh yes. honestly I don't really like uh, the roller coaster life uh, in the research <laughs> phase of study. Yeah, uh so yeah, I still I still have to convince myself if I would like to take PhD. Right. But I really but, like but the idea of um uh working as a research which uh Yeah, you explore a lot of things. You you read right, right. different types of methods and try different types of method in order to achieve uh, your goal, in order to answer mm. your research questions. Mm. Uh, I really like working that way. Uh, it's okay. just that four years full of that, I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm really so impressed get... for everyone who finished their PhD, <laughs> which is one of it is you. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, they always make a joke about uh, PhD. I mean, my friends, even including me. Well, when I finish this, I will never be afraid of anything, because this is pretty much the hardest or the scariest mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> moment in life. Well, I'm not sure about that, but honestly, when we really were doing it, that's what yeah. we thought. Even mm-hmm. now, looking back now, sometimes I laugh, you know, at myself. Like, but oh, when gila. you really are there, <laughs> oh, gila banget. <laughs> It is like uh, kamu tuh kayak ada di terowongan katanya kata supervisor ke dulu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like you're in the in a tunnel, yeah. very dark. You don't really know the end of the tunnel, mm. but dia bilang gini. Tapi Andi uh, uh, tenang aja. One day you'll see the light. Nah, at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> the thing is, that's what I thought. You'll see the light, eh. and then we approach the 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 light. Itu ternyata kereta lewat doang. Gelap oh. lagi gitu. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So it was really it was like oh, one sad. of the worst. It was one of the worst <laughs> joke. I think, you know, when when somebody say it to you and you're still in the tunnel, it doesn't sound like a joke, right? It's, it sounds like a very uh, bad news, right? Yeah. But now I can I can make joke about that <laughs> because I yeah it. because you passed it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, you open your your mind uh, to that kind of possibility, right? Maybe mm-hmm. study in the future or. How about coming back to Indonesia? Are you thinking of that, or are you just basically still open for any possibilities? Uh, coming back to uh, Indonesia for Indonesia? good? Indonesia. Yeah, for good or uh, work here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, not probably not uh, in the least. It's 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 not in uh, in my in not in my uh, plan Current for the list. next yeah, five okay. years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe I will change again if uh, if something happens. Yeah. Who knows? Sure. And yeah. Nah. Well. Well, basically, this is this is the third thing. I mean, we from campus to see you like this, we are happy. Basically, you can fly fly as high as possible, because mm-hmm. I think it, basically you you can play roles in any places you, you know, you belong to. Mm-hmm. Right? So we we happy mm-hmm. about that. So uh, now tell me the later one about data scientists. You know, for me, honestly, this is not uh, something that I understand that that much. Can you tell me story about this and how you? Migrate or basically utilize that uh, geo sign, uh, you know, uh, knowledge, and then now you become a data scientist. So I guess it starts from a master. I have several mm. because I took geoinformatics. 
I oh. have several course about the scientific geocomputing. So it's a mm -hmm. it's basically a programming uh, course. Uh, oh. So you learn, uh, yeah, whatever language, uh, programming language you name it. But for a specific mm -hmm. uh, a study case of a, mm. of a geo uh, data and uh, earth mm -hmm. observations. So uh, I yeah I have to be able to. Uh, yeah, I still remember I have one assignment that I need to uh, do um, mm -hmm. an DVI calculation right. <laughs> to check whether the I uh, think we computation is that healthy time, right? or not. Yeah. yeah, that term must be really familiar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I usually just click here and there and then uh, right, I right, need to right. build uh, yeah, some kind of a Python um, a language, tool for that. Programming language, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then I thought, yeah, this is really interesting, but at the end, I uh, I didn't uh, take that seriously for my thesis. I mm -hmm. I back into what I really liked the most, uh, 3D point clouds, and right. uh, making 3D mo uh, building model. So mm -hmm. um, I make that, but it's still uh, in line with uh, what I with I with I, with what I learned and uh, with what mm -hmm. I deliver as my thesis. All right. Uh, and then I thought, okay, let's uh, try to also apply for a data scientist as a job. Uh, right. So I apply at uh, this over story and I really like their vision, which is uh, monitoring forest and also okay. it, it's, yeah, uh, it has a, I, I, I feel like I mm. uh, contribute a really small percentage in order to against the climate change. Uh, yeah, I really like yes. that. It's a big <laughs> issue basically, right? Yeah. So and, and, and talking about forest for people. Yes, yes. And talking about forest monitoring, uh, obviously it's not going to be in the Netherlands, right? I mean, the field of studies. No. <laughs> guess guess where I uh, well, guess where I just uh, finished <laughs> a project now. It's in Indonesia. Oh, there you go. See, that's what I talk <laughs> about contribution. Where is it? Is it in in Kalimantan? Uh, no, it's it's in the whole uh, the whole uh, country, the whole uh, island. There you go, there you go. Uh, is it the a project? Is does the project uh, uh, have anything to do with Indonesia? I mean, in the execution, is it a, a, a collaboration or it is basically independent project? No, it's a it's a th from a third party. It's oh, not right, direct okay. uh, to the Indonesian government. No. All right, all right, all right. Okay. No. Wow, interesting. So yeah. so that's how you uh, you know become a data scientist now. So in yeah, a day to day yeah. uh, basis of your work, uh, what are you doing there, uh, Asha? It's a it's a full uh, workflow oh, of right, uh, right. working. So some parts is uh, basically just making polygons uh, in okay. in a GIS software, and then out mm. of that polygon we train the model to detect uh, all these objects in the image. Okay. And then right. afterwards, uh, the model will predict w uh, whether it predicts correctly or not. Mm, and then mm. we refine and then so on until it produces a correct uh, uh -huh. thematic map. Yeah, deep learning. Yeah. Deep learning. Okay, right. Wow, sounds very interesting. Now, yeah, uh, do you sounds have any... uh, really nowadays uh, term, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Everybody, everybody <laughs> said that deep learning, uh, machine learning, <laughs> artificial intelligence. Yeah. It, it seems to me that uh, I become really old or really. Uh, basically outdated if I don't really say that <laughs> about those terms now in the conversation, right? <laughs> maybe, I don't know, uh, this term maybe is, uh, likes uh, GIS maybe back in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Probably yeah. something like that. So everybody should really learn that. All right, uh, Asha, now uh, maybe uh, last one or two questions. What is your message to our friends, especially uh, students, young students in in genetic engineering now? Yeah, I can imagine uh, right. now you just enter uh, the university uh, studying genetic engineering. I assume you are also lost like me back then. <laughs> 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 what is this? <laughs> exactly. But don't worry about it because uh, eventually you will find a nice course that uh, triggers mm. your interest. And uh, from right. there, you can build your own plan, your own goal, and you will figure out how to reach your own goal. So I guess that is the most important to always project yourself. Uh, what is you? Mm. What is exactly what you would like to achieve, and uh, right. how exactly 
what is the realistic step in order for you to achieve your goal? Right. So, uh, yeah, always make a goal, but make it realistic as much as possible. Okay. Because you can always say, yeah, I would like to study to the Netherlands, but I don't know how with your current condition, it's impossible. Right. So you need to change small. Uh, yeah, just take small actions in order to achieve your goal. That's very wise. Yeah, and I guess I that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, my only two cents. <laughs> Well, that's that's great. That's good. I I remember uh, once uh, uh, if you dream big, basically, or or kalau Bung Karno bilang tu, uh, mimpilah setinggi langit. Yeah. Karena kalaupun kamu jatuh, kamu jatuhnya di antara bintang-bintang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that right. Yeah, that yeah. I think is good, right? Betul. Uh, but one thing that I also want to add to that, you can dream to fly high. I mean to to achieve the the sky. Mm-hmm. Tapi ingat juga kita nggak punya sayap loh ya. What we can mm-hmm. do is to make a small step. Jadi yeah. you have to build your own stair basically. This yeah. is exactly what you said. Kita tahu kita mau ke sana, <laughs> tapi jangan lupa kita harus menyiapkan itu dengan yeah. baik. Not only just stairs to heaven. To kalau kata Led Zeppelin. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, and and probably the last one. I I really like to have the conversation with you, Arsha. Uh, Do you have any any points that you would like to say to us, our educators or dosen or guru? Because I'm sure that we need to change, right? we need to adapt, or yeah. we need to basically, uh, yeah, adapt basically, right? So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. any anything that you, I mean, your exp- based on your experience in in the Netherlands, that you'd like to advise us about? Yeah, maybe uh, we also mm. have to adjust the 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 way. Uh, Um, academic transfer uh, process uh, what I realized uh, during bachelor I mm. fed a lot by the docent so oh. I don't really force to explore uh, the knowledge from my okay. side but maybe it's also part of uh, yeah the way we uh, usually mm. do mm. 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 So maybe it takes time to change because that's what I realized when I took master over here. Mm-hmm. They were just say, yeah, just read this and that, and then uh, the, the the lecture was to only took about two hours, and then at the end we just discuss about things. So it okay. really triggers us to build our own curiosity to the knowledge that uh, that we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this so is a good thing. Maybe Yeah, the academic transfer uh, process that needs to be changed. Thank you so much. So I think I think uh, we as a lecturer, I think I personally agree with this. Uh, I I've done my master degree and PhD also overseas. Somehow I <coughs> understand this. Uh, yeah, you applied that even. Did you didn't you realize? <laughs> thank you. I mean, I I hope you you gain a little benefit out of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you did that. I I really like the way you uh, transfer your knowledge uh, to us. Thank you, then. thank you, Arsha. One thing that I I really want the students uh, who are watching this now to understand yeah. this better that actually knowledge is something you should seek, yeah. not only receive from someone, right? So it is a, mm-hmm. a, a called a journey of seeking knowledge. Not mm-hmm. receiving knowledge from someone, so I I really hope that this kind of uh, mentality or understanding yeah. also take place in student side, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, whoever watches now, I think uh, you better agree with uh, Asha. <laughs> uh oh. It... Don't force. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um. Okay. One small thing. People always ask me about English, for example. Your English is very good. And now a combination with Dutch. Uh, how did you, when you're a student or even before that, tell me a, a short story about that. How did you master your English, Arsha? Uh, that's a bit sad, eh? That uh, my Dutch, uh, that my English uh, influenced by my Dutch. That's always <laughs> no, no. But but sounds very about. fancy. Sounds very fa- sounds fancy. I I like to hear it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where did I start it? Um, since I was a kid, okay, I okay. I really like listening to. Uh, This um, uh, international songs. Uh, back, right, right. back that time, I was uh, accompanied by my mba watching uh, MTV. Uh, oh, so wow, okay. I, I <laughs> you're yeah, an MTV I, generation. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I still have on TV back then. Uh, right. Yeah, until elementary school, and I always uh, want to sing along, so I always read the lyrics without understanding what it is about. Until I realize now, whoa! I learned those kind of words when I was a kid. <laughs> I I can imagine uh, what you what you mean. <laughs> yeah, and then it's built up. Um, um, my vocabularies oh, and right. uh, with the help of um, academic as well um, through elementary school but I never really took a, a English course until I have to oh. uh, do preparation for IBT just to polish with the grammatic uh, oh really that's yeah. interesting I thought you you went to a, a English course since your baby no oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so, so you did yeah. really you, you went to the English course only because you want to you, you wanted to prepare your IBT. That what you yeah, said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, internet based TOEFL. Yeah. Oh, see, this is a good news. Another good news here. So, in order for you to be able to speak English or to understand English, it doesn't mean that you have to take a, a, an expensive uh, English course, right? No, no. Now with a lot of access to, basically to everything, mm-hmm. I think uh, we really have to. Uh, utilize this to yeah. take advantage out of this uh, very good good situation yeah. okay right Arsha uh, always nice to talk to you uh, yeah, I'll always remember uh, the the article you published about UNCLOS uh, in the in the uh, local newspaper I really appreciate that thank you very much for doing that so once again uh, good luck with your your life basically or your job whatever you decide yeah <laughs> thank you All right then, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. You take care, bye.